good afternoon everyone thanks very much for your patience uh, for the delayed start time today just a uh, couple things here at the top and then we'll get right to your questions uh, as you're aware Iran conducted a significant attack against Israel today launching approximately 200 ballistic missiles targeting several locations in Israel we condemn these reckless attacks by Iran and we call on Iran to halt any further attacks including from its proxy forces during the attack, the U.S. military coordinated closely with the Israeli Defense Forces to help defend Israel. U.S. Navy destroyers deployed to the Middle East region supported the defense of Israel by firing approximately a dozen interceptors against the incoming Iranian missiles. Initial reports indicate that Israel was able to intercept the majority of incoming missiles and that there was minimal damage on the ground, but I'd refer you to Israel for confirmation and any questions on that. Is there in a better position to discuss? Please note that we're still assessing the attack and the outcome, so numbers may change as we receive updates. Additionally, no U.S. personnel were injured or harmed during the Iranian missile attack. Secretary Austin, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff General C.Q. Brown Jr. and U.S. Central Command Commander General Eric Carrilla have been in constant contact with President Biden and Vice President Harris throughout the day to consult on the situation and U.S. actions. In addition to his phone call earlier this morning with Israeli Minister of Defense Gallant prior to the Iranian attack, Secretary Austin spoke to the minister again just a short while ago to get an update. He reaffirmed the United States' ironclad commitment to the defense of Israel and underscored that the U.S. remains well postured throughout the Middle East region to protect U.S. forces and defend Israel in the face of threats from Iran and Iran-backed terrorist organizations. We'll provide a readout of that call as soon as possible. To be crystal clear, as Secretary Austin has said, should Iran, its partners, or its proxies use this moment to target American personnel or interests in the region, the United States will take every necessary measure to defend our people.